Hey everybody, my name is Candy Moore, and welcome back for another video of NHL 9 DST mode. I said it right this time around. Here we go. With the uh, tr Atlanta Treasures, we're about to start the fourth year. Last, uh, last video, if you missed it, make sure to go ahead and watch it uh, before watching this one. It's really important um, be because you missed the playoffs. Uh, and uh, that's a spoiler I heard for you. So I'm, I want you to go, guys, for those of you who didn't go watch the previous videos, go watch the previous videos. All right. Now that's off the case. There's the spoiler. We didn't make it far, guys. We made it uh, past the first. Uh, we didn't even make it past the first round. We got eliminated in the first round in the seven in the seven games. But by the uh, Stanley Cup champions, which ended up being the F Philadelphia Flyers. So that's interesting. Uh, at least we lost to the Stanley Cup uh, champions and we are gonna go ahead and do a trade right off the beginning of the video uh, the last video I said at the very end I said I was gonna go and do a trade so I'm gonna trade Jacques Plante because he's not a good goaltender he hasn't been a good goaltender for us at all in the 90s for the season so it's not that good for 98 overall it's in the 80s for the playoffs. The, the playoffs is always shitting the bed. It's the, the, most, the biggest problem of our team. It's uh, him in the playoffs. So we got to trade him for sure, guys. I don't know who to trade him for. We'll just have to see. Where is he? Okay, so trade players. Let's just see uh, what we got. So we got to go for the uh, goaltenders. We got two goaltenders we got to trade. Uh... I told myself I'm going to trade Pavlik and Jacques Plante because Pavlik is 24 years of age. Uh, he can still grow a lot, but we've got too many prospect goaltenders up in here. We've got this A-, minus. we got this low elite here, this low starter here, we got this starter here. Like, we've got way too many goaltenders in the um, the pool, the, uh, the young pro, uh, prospect pool. In order to have uh, Pavlik at 24 years of age at this point have a chance for us. So we're just going to have to trade him. Give him another chance in another team. But first we make our big trade. All right. So Jacques Plante. We're going to have to find a player that is really good for us. That would be really good for us. So let me just see really quick. Who do we have? So who do we, who do we need the most? Uh, obviously, we've got uh, sort so one, two, three, four, uh, 79 overall for center. We've got one, two, three, four, uh, left wing were, uh, were fine. One, two, three, four, right wing, we are uh, 79 overall as well on right wing position. So, a centerman or a right winger, one, two, three, four, five, six, we're fine on defense. So it's a right winger or a centerman. We gotta find uh, a centerman or a left, uh, left winger, guys. Let's try to find that, all right? So they've got, and I've got a, a, a team. So I first thing I'm gonna do is go for the Stanley Cup champions. They beat us somehow. They've got Mike Richards and they've got Martin St. Louis. All right, so Mike Richards. Uh, or Martin Saint Louis, we could get either one of these two dudes. It would be pretty interesting. Uh, just see the stats really quick, though. Just make sure. Oh, a hundred points. He's got uh, thirty-five points in this. Oh yeah, he's he's really good. He's really good. Mike Richards, uh, eighty-eight. It's all right. It's good. A hundred and three points. Mike Richards is even better. Hmm. Yeah, Mike Richards is even better. He's, he can still grow. And Martin said we cannot. So I'm going to go for Mike Richards. He's going to be a great centerman for us, guys. On a fourth line. Not fourth line because he's going to be better than the Mo, uh, than Brendamo. But yeah, let's get uh, Mike Richards and upgrade our our like um, our offense even more. Let's, let's do it. Mike Richards and we obviously can get another thing. So Mike Richards... It's a B potential, so it's the top six. We're gonna try to get out of it as well uh, a third round or a second round. Uh, maybe a first round pick. And we might be able to actually get, let me see real quick. Trade has been rejected, so okay. So 
already see that's a little bit too much for them so what we're gonna do I'm gonna quickly go here it should be able to work um, maybe Scotty option maybe they want to trade him for you for us let's just see real quick do you do you want to trade him so maybe a Sikora as well just see real quick it, it worked it worked so we've both got the centerman and the right winger in this trade I didn't want to go for Martin say we I knew they wouldn't want to trade him but maybe 85 overall something like that so we got Peter Sikora as an 85 overall on the right wing position and a centerman for uh, in uh, Mike Richards for our team so good luck to you um, Jacques Plante, good luck to you in your endeavors. You're in the Stanley Cup champion team uh, right now. So good luck for you, I guess. Uh, I hope you're going to do better with them. Because obviously he, uh, he did not, he had an average of 90, uh, 90 overall, 90% uh, in the seasons. In playoffs, he had an average of probably 88, 87 not good all right playoffs is not a good player uh in our goaltender uh i'm going to tell you right now that makes uh dwyer that uh, permits dwyer to have a place as our goaltender maybe we could trade um dwyer has one year deal it's probably, it's probably going to be ready next year to play with us so pavlik uh we're going to try to trade him but uh, we got to look at uh, Littonen's stats really quick. All right. So Littonen, he's for us so far has given us uh, a 90 overall, a 90%, a 100%. Only three games played that year though. Uh, or actually three wins. Yeah, only three games played. So he got a shout out for all of his games. Well, not really a shout out, but he won all of them. He didn't give up any single goal. And 91 plus overall, so he's already a better goaltender than Plant was in the season. And playoffs, he had a rough time last year, but only one game, so we can't judge him on that. He had four games, though, for the uh, playoffs uh, last year. Uh, the other year previously wasn't that good, but 93%, that's what I'm counting as. I'm counting on performance like that, so I feel like he is going to do fine. He's going to do fine. Uh, maybe if we can trade him and uh, Blackburn would be pretty good. Blackburn uh, is he? Is that, he's actually pretty pretty good. He's pretty got some good stats. Uh, Blackburn. What about uh, Juggerson? I want to keep him. Dwyer. What about him? Really good. Really good. He he went to the playoffs. He's all right in the playoffs, I guess. I'm gonna keep him. Um, Blackburn. We've got too many goaltenders right now. I'm going to keep Blackburn. Let me just see really quick. Uh, maybe we could have a better goaltender. I'm pretty sure. So let me just see what my options are here. Definitely not going to have a Marc-Andre Fleury up in here. Um, maybe Western. He's actually a pretty good goaltender. Yeah. He could do the job. He could do the job. You know what? Let's try I tried to go for him. I think he would be a great choice. And we are going to try to get um, first round. Nope. Second round. Trade cannot go through because they uh, they would have too many goaltenders. All right. So Blackburn, you're just going to go in there. There you go. Rejected. Let's go for this. Nope. So just straight up. Nope. Okay. Uh, it's too much. Too much. Okay. So... Not enough. So I'm thinking maybe I could go for. Uh, then I'm just gonna go for uh, another goal. I'm gonna go back for, I guess uh, Montoya. Montoya could be a great choice for us. So I, I wanna go for him. Um, rejected, really. Uh, what if I do this? Okay, so I gotta give him a little bit more. So these two goaltenders for Montoya and maybe a fourth round? No, a third round. No. Second round? 
There we go. Second round, Blackburn, Pavlek for uh, Al Montoya. Uh, 80 overall as backup goaltender should be good enough. All right. I don't care about the trade if it looks bad for us or not. Uh, I'm just here to put Montoya as our backup and we've got two goaltenders I can focus on growing. They don't have competition. Now they can focus on growing by themselves. It's really good. Uh, let's go to uh, the lineups. There we go. And we're going to put up Montoya up, uh, up in here. And just put Litonen as our uh, starting goaltender. What is it? Who's missing? Okay, so Mike Richards. Uh, Mike Richards uh, needs to go in there, of course. So Williams. Okay, so Mike Richards. You're going there. Williams, you're going to... You're going to sit. Uh, Sikora, you're going to play as well. But uh, first off, we got to have Mike Richards and... Adar, you're gonna sit. There we go. It's gonna be um, what's his face? It's gonna be Sikora up in here. There we go. Sikora here and there. There we go. And we've got uh, Mike Richards playing on the third line. So we got one hell of an offensive team, guys. Defensive team could be upgraded, but it's still pretty good. So we get we got a good team here. We got a good team. Um, Anything else? I think we're good. Now, what I can do is finally get rid of Adar. Adar got claimed by another team. That's fine. Centermans. Uh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. So, Centermans. Just real, real quick. Jason Williams. You're going in there. We're going to go ahead and we didn't make the trades happen. Now, I'm going to go ahead and go into the uh, actual AHL. Do best lines and that should be good. All right, we're good. So we can start the season up finally. We made that trade. It took a long time, but we made that trade happen. Uh, we traded Pavlik, Blackburn to uh, Phoenix in a second round for Al Montoya, uh, just to have a better uh, like backup uh, because we traded as well. Um, Jacques Plant to the Philadelphia Flyers, which are the Stanley Cup champions right now, in order to have Mike Richards and Peter Sikora, both. All right, so we're good. Let's start this shit up. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Let's see how the ten first games go. Oh, they put someone in the waivers, the Philadelphia Flyers. They're a prospect, goaltender as well, Grabowski. Hmm, prospect goaltender, 3.3, 3 goals per game, uh, 100, actually pretty good. Let's pick him up. Uh, Georges Larac, I'm not sure if I really want him. Does he play good? Uh, hang on. Offensive, no, he's a terrible player, so I don't want him. Goaltenders, yes, we're, you're just going to stay there. Actually, we're going to go to the minors. We're going to do this. Just so he plays. There we go. We've got a better goaltending situation even in the AHL now. So that's really good. Even though it prevents my uh, 74 low elite uh, goaltender to play as a backup. It's uh, it's all, it's fine. So we'll just see how um, this year Litonen plays for us as a, our new starter. we got a new starter in Litonen. He's not playing backup anymore. So we'll see if he's up to the task. Uh, that's a goaltender. Now I, I have. Uh, I'm fine on goaltenders. I don't need another one. We just won eight to four, guys. That's ridiculous. We're doing fine. Four to one. See, four wins, one uh, one losses. We're doing fine right now. We're doing great. And he's not giving goals. See the difference between Plant and him. Littonen is actually playing great. Uh, Backstrom. Nicholas Backstrom's 83 overall. We might have a great goaltender here. Oh, four goals a game right now, though. It's playing terrible. Four goals a game? No. All right. I don't want him. I don't want Backstrom because, uh, yes, he's uh, better overall than uh, Al Montoya. But here's the trick. Gives up four goals per game. I don't want that goaltender. That's exactly what Plant was. Nine wins and one loss only in regulation. We are doing 
absolutely well. 18 points, best of our uh, of the Eastern Conference, probably the best of the year of the team, uh, the league as well. So we're doing very good, guys. We're gonna look at our player stats right now. See who's hurt, who's probably not having a tough, or, or that good of a time. If anybody, everybody is playing well, we'll see. Uh, best player right now, Peter Fosberg, uh, 12 points. 11 points for Kovalchuk. Remember, Kovalchuk is playing this year on the second line. Uh, Dicky Moore grew up, so he's actually playing on the first line now. Um, Steve Schott is actually playing good on the third line now, which is really good for us. If he starts playing good like that, that's really good. Stahl, we've got Dicky Moore is playing great. Um, uh, Chris Bronger, of course, all these guys. Uh, Egging on the first line, not doing so good, but he's, not, he's doing all right. Sikora on the third line, really good. Robinson, Bomister, uh, Mike Richards, the one we got, uh, is doing all right on the third line. And Bomis, uh, Br Brenamo is doing all right. Uh, minuses, only a couple of minus ones, so really good, really good overall. We've got uh, goaltenders, let me see, he played uh, all 10 games, 93 per saving percentage really great guys really great for him i am gonna go ahead and give uh a chance to go uh, for the goaltender al montoya though just so he goes one game so let's go ahead and simulate this one game right here there we go and now we can put back um we can put back uh, uh let on and up in here Litton actually is 77 overall right now. I feel like he's playing a little bit, a little bit too much here. So we're just gonna go ahead and have a little bit more confidence in uh, Montoya then, up until Litton gets his energy back. So here we go. Let's go. Uh, can we win this game? We can. We did win the game. How much? So Montoya gave up two goals and three goals. All right, good. And now we can. Uh, because we got to look at uh, Litanen if he's okay. Okay, Montoya is doing fine. And Litanen is still uh, struggling a little bit to come back. So just give Montoya a couple of games here. So that's uh, There we go. Let's see how we do. That is three, four wins in a row for Montoya. He, we're not losing. We're just not losing. We're just not losing. We have actual great goaltenders here. Um, all right. So Montoya, you're doing great. Seems like you're doing great right now, yeah. So, <laughs> they're both doing absolutely great. Uh, I'm loving it. I'm loving it, guys. Let's continue. Let's continue right here. There's another win. There's another win, guys. And let's give him uh, another win right here. Yeah, another win. Here we go, guys. All right. Let's see. Litton, are you okay? You're not. You're all. Oh, there's still 77 overall, my guy. All right, then. Well, uh, I'm trusting. I'm trusting Montoya. There we go. Montoya got his last, his first last of the year. Backstrom still in the waivers. Got claimed by another team. He's still in the waivers. Probably gonna get claimed again. Um, all right. So he got his first last. Time to get Litanen back in here. He played seven games, Montoya. 91 saving percentage, great. And Litonen played so far 10 games, 93 saving percentage. We've got three great goaltenders. Let's continue, guys. Let's continue. All right, there's a good win right here. That's uh, 18, 19, 20. Let's see uh, how he does against the Philadelphia Flyers. We lose 7 to 3. Oof. Uh, Jacques Plant got his revenge against us right there. Holy. That's okay. That's okay. We're just going to go ahead and do this. That's going to be 20 games right there. There we go. That's 20 games played. We just got a shout out 6 to nothing. After 20 games, we're at 17, 2, and 1 loss in a shootout or overtime. Really good, guys. Our two goaltenders are playing, uh, are playing awesome for us. They're just playing awesome. 35 points, still the best team of the league. Uh, probably. Let's look at our players, um, the way they play and everything. So look, uh, look at their stats. We're doing awesome, guys. 
<laughs> our team is playing very well in the season. It's in the playoffs. When it comes down to the playoffs, we'll see how they play, actually. So, best player right now, still Peter Fosberg after 20 games. 27 points, 24 for Kovalchuk and Dickie Moore. Happy that Dickie Moore is finally playing very good. And happy that Steve Shot is having a better time, too. Really happy for all these players who are having a good time. Yeah, that's good. That's, uh, that's really good. Uh, nobody really... The minuses are, I would say, would be uh, fourth line with Alex Tange, of course, and Bobby Ryan and all that. The fourth line is only normal that they struggle. There's got to be one lineup that's struggling. But if it's only one lineup, it's fine. And uh, goaltender-wise, so as you can see, you've got um, 13 uh, games played for Lettonen. He's got 11 wins. 93 percent saving percentage 91 saving percentage in seven games played for montoya really great guys let's continue two four six eight ten all the way up to the dallas stars game see how uh we're gonna continue playing here mike sullivan centerman is he a uh, good he's uh not well he's he's got great defense uh, offense is too weak though, so I'm not. I'm gonna pass on him. I'm gonna pass on him. His offense is too weak. All right, so Betterson for Kessler. Two prospects. Is that it? Yeah, two prospects. Um, let's see. Center the defense. He hasn't played yet. He's got um, a defensive offensive awareness is not that good. Defensive awareness is. It's all right. What about this guy? Offensive awareness is uh, great. Defensive awareness is okay. So he's actually a better player than this defenseman. Yeah. Let's make the trade happen. This better. This is a better prospect than Brad Kessler for sure. So we're just gonna skip a little bit here. We're gonna get a, a little bit more of a better uh, prospect, I guess. So there's another loss right there, but a win back. Another loss. Okay, so we're starting to have a couple of losses here and there, but that's okay. There we go. We're getting back into uh, to the wins, uh, obviously. Vrana, uh, oh, That's a big trade right there. Hold on now. So they they want Montoya. They want to give us uh, a lot of a lot of things. So they want Montoya. Which is playing awesome for us. Alright. He played awesome for us so far. So I want to keep him. Denny. Which uh, is a defenseman. He's he's uh, he's alright. 73. Yeah. He's alright. Yeah, he's, he's, really, he's good for us. And um, not good offensively. Uh, great defensively though. So kind of in the middle. I could trade this guy. No problem. Vrana. Is uh, 77 great, uh, actually great uh, prospect right there. Fuku, uh, Fuku Fuji, interesting name for an Englishman. <laughs> 77 is not good, and this guy, 84 and 66. No, okay, so no, it's I'm not making that trade because uh, I'm I would lose that trade big time. So I'm not making a, a stupid trades like that. There's no point in it. No point in doing those trades. Uh, let's go. Let's continue. We go, we're doing great right now. We're doing absolutely great. So, uh, there's uh, a couple of wins. Okay, so another trade offer right here. A lot of trade offers. They want Bishai, our first draft pick uh, uh, this year. So he's actually playing pretty well right now in the AHL. He's uh, got a really good, really good stats. Really good. Uh, and Valabic, which got a uh, really good defensive uh, awareness, but uh, offensive awareness not so much. I could trade him without any problem. He's playing with us though. He's playing with us this year on our team. They're, they would give us Mark Michael Enzus. So 82. Nope, that was a garbage player. 85, 60. Nope. All right. Nope. I'm not making that trade. I would lose. So after 30 games, uh, I, I we are at 24, 5, and 1. Really good. Still uh, the best. Uh, Ari Marins is the best player right now in the league. It seems like after 30 games, 53 uh, points. 
We're gonna go ahead and put um, Montoya for this one game only. I don't know why he's 77 overall. Why he's struggling? Like uh, into overalls, he's uh, not having a good time. But he's doing a really good job for the season-wise, though. All right, so we're good. Feel like uh, everybody's playing really great for us. So we gotta continue the way it is, guys. Let's continue. There's a uh, there's one right here. So Montoya got us a win as well. So Montoya got us a good win. We got uh, what? The fifth game, which one would be the fifth game? So, two, four, five. Montoya is going to have to play in this game right uh, right there. Against, uh, well, actually, he played a lot of games already. So, I'm going to pass on this one. I'm just going to put back uh, Litton and Imp here. Because Litton is our starting goaltender. So, let's just continue. Two, four, six, eight and 10 all the way up to the Dallas Stars game once again at 40 uh, 40 uh, games played so hopefully we're going to continue to play well Backstrom is actually growing right now they keep pointing back in the waivers though um, for some reason so let's see he went down so he's definitely playing better by the uh, over the year but uh, I, I don't have any confidence in that, uh, that guy man I uh, have no confidence, especially since we got uh, someone like Montoya's backup, who's actually doing pretty well. Vernus, don't need any goaltenders. Don't need any goaltenders unless it's someone like Backstrom. It looks like a good choice, but uh, he's got to have the overall, and he actually has to have a, as well the, the stats, you know. We just lost 8-4 to four against the P Panthers. Get your, get your revenge, guys. Come on. Get your revenge against them. Oh my, 6-4 to four as well. Good lord, they're killing us, the Panthers. Fletchic for Ostrich. So Ostrich, um, 84, 77. Pretty great player. 74, uh, nope. Nope, I would lose. See, those trades are not, would not be good for me, guys. So keeping the players I have. It's the best choice I can do right here. We're doing great. Uh, we're starting to lose a little bit more towards this uh, part of the season, but it's fine because we're still winning uh, enough so that we are doing great. 61 points. Pittsburgh is catching up to us. Pittsburgh is having is on a tear right now, it looks like. Um, still uh, the best player of the league, Morens, with 69 points. Nice. We've got 30 wins, 9 losses, and 1 loss in overtime. Let's uh, go ahead and put Montoya up in here. So, Littonen, what did he do for us this, so far? Three goals per game. 91 saving percentage. Montoya, two goals per game. 92 saving percentage, really good. We're going to give him his 10th uh, game right now. Before we do that, I do want to... Actually, it's, uh, it's not at the 40 games, so we're going to... Are we at the 40 games? We are actually at the 40 games, yeah. So, we are half of the season done. So, I might as well look at the team stats. See how we do league-wise. So, goaltending. We are the best gold, uh, gold thing, golding. We're the best... Uh, we're the second best team for golds on the, le uh, on the league. We're the... Um, let's see. The second best... Team for goals against as well. Power play. We are the second best team for power play. And we are all the way at 18th position for penalty kill. Penalty kill is not good. Alright, so we're going to have to switch the penalty kill. Maybe the players here and there. Some players. So penalty kill. Um, maybe put Fosberg in here. Maybe that would better be, be better. I, uh, I'm just saying, we're going to get past the actual uh, uh, All-Stars game. I accidentally went a little bit too far here. I made um, Montoya play three games, which is fine. He's still uh, playing pretty good for us. So I'm fine with making mistakes like that when it's your, your backup is playing as good as your uh, starting goaltender. So he got us two wins out of three. So let's just uh, get where we were supposed to be. Uh, go with um, 
the actual uh, starting goaltender, which is Letonen. Letonen actually got injured now. Uh, I think he's playing a little bit too much and he might be injured for the rest of the season, guys. I think he's injured for the rest of the season. That's not good. All the way up to the 4th uh, of March. Yikes, we just lost our starting goaltender for the rest of the season. He played good well as well. He had a really great year and uh, he goes and enters himself like this. Uh, too bad, yeah, it's too bad. We've got a great um, play goaltender in uh, Montoya though. That's good. So, Joggerson, this is your chance. I'm going to give a chance to uh, to Joggerson. And he's, uh, he's going to get the chance, really. So, Joggerson, go get in there, I guess. And we're just going to play Montoya for the rest of the games uh, for as a starter. Joggerson is going to have a couple of games. He's going to have to make his proof, see if he's... Uh, Ready or not for the league. I mean, how he plays in the league itself. Or probably is, we'll have, we're going to have the chance to see him in action. Because obviously uh, Montoya is not going to play all the games. Uh, Sally, Ruslan Sally, 80 overall. Could be interesting as a defenseman. Let me just see his stats though. 73. Nope. Not interested. He's garbage. Garbage, garbage. No wonder he's, go he's going to the waivers. All right. We're doing good, guys. We only got one last so far. Uh, and it was at the beginning of the simulation. Uh, one last uh, since the uh, we started up uh, the, the simulation again. So, All-Star game, we just passed it. Morens looks like he's going to have a great year. All right. Uh, are we going to have another win? Let's see. Yeah, another win right there. Really great. We're playing awesome, guys. We're just playing awesome. We're just uh we're just doing fine so 2.5 uh, 5 to 2 uh marek malik is uh not good not good not good i'm not picking any of these guys so 30 after four, 50 games played 39 10 and uh, in one really great record 79 points by far we're probably gonna have the uh the president's trophy for a third time, a third year in a row, guys. Probably, eighty-six points. Morin still the best player of the league. We've got um, stats-wise, uh, we don't have to look at them. I know my players are doing fine. Where we have a record like this, so Motoya, you're gonna give us uh, our our first chance to Joggerson. Motoya, six uh, so far, 18, 18 wins. Uh, 18 games, 16 wins, 2 losses only, 82 saving percentage, playing awesome for us, really playing awesome. Let's give uh, uh, Joggerson our chance for a chance for his first game. He's gonna get, he's got a win, he gave up 4 goals, but he got a win, 7-4. Our offense is too overwhelming guys, so, really good, 77, uh, I don't need a goaltender, I don't need goaltenders. Right, so... Really good for Joggerson, I guess, for his uh, first uh, game of uh, his uh, career in the NHL. Actually ended up uh, giving four goals away, but he, he had a win. He had a win, so happy for him, I guess. So two, four, six, eight, and ten, all the way up to the uh, Tampa Bay Lightning game. Shannon, is he good? Nope. He's not, so let's continue simulation. We just lost uh, a game right there. So that's one loss. Toivonen uh, would be interesting as a goaltender, but I don't want him. I don't need goaltenders, guys. I don't need goaltenders. There's a nice win right there. See, here's the thing. Our goaltenders as well can um, can get the... Ch Alex Goligoski, defenseman, actually pretty good. Yes, I do want him. I absolutely want him. That's a good prospect right there. That's a good prospect to have. So, Goligoski, uh, you're going to go ahead and edit line. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do this. There we go. Goligoski, we got a better defenseman, a better defensive core even for the uh, age also. What I was saying is even when a goaltender, our goaltenders are not having that uh, awesome night like always, they can still give up three to four goals. It doesn't matter. We're scaring seven goals per game. I mean, we've got one hell of an offensive team. 
Now, Colby Armstrong got injured, so we're going to have to replace him by Kozlov. So Kozlov is his first time actually replacing a player this year. So Kozlov is, uh, only played one game. Only played one game. It uh, didn't last too long. Because Armstrong only missed one game, guys. Alright. Let's get him back in there. Get back Armstrong in there. Uh, we got three losses now. That's not too good. We're starting to lose games, though. Starting to lose games. And actually, Kimo T uh, Timonen is actually pretty good. Really great player. I do want him. Scott uh, Walker. Nope, I do I do not want him. Now we got Timonen, yes, which is a defenseman, which means we're gonna put this guy in the waivers or whatever, and put Timonen in here because I do want him. We're gonna go and put Timonen uh, where he's supposed to be. So instead of Mickey, Mickey, you're here. You're gonna scratch you. We're gonna put Timonen in here. Timonen, you're gonna play. And I feel like, uh, yeah, should be fine, right? He's better than Kubina, so we should play him to, uh, on top four as well. Here we go, guys. Really great. We're doing great. So, let's see how we go uh, now. Oh my god, there's so many things happening. There's so many waivers during that time. Is uh, we're, we're approaching basically the trade uh, deadline. So it's only normal for us to have a lot of pop-off. Kerry Litonen is finally back. He's back, guys, and I gotta say, Pavlik did a great, uh, not Pavlik, uh, Montoya did a great job. And Juggerson played only one game, but it's fine. I mean, he played great for us. So Juggerson, I'm gonna wait a little bit here. All right, we're gonna get uh, Litonen back in here. Marcus Naslin, really, in the waivers. Are you crazy? Are you out of your mind? I mean, defensive awareness is not that good, I guess. Yeah, I guess you're right. I'm not going to put uh, Naslin. I'm not going to pick him up. Uh, Ripien, is he good? Nope. Not good. Let's see where we it gets us, guys. After 60, uh, 60 games, where are we going to be? Marco Strom. Do we want him? Um, he would be great. He would be all right for us, I guess. 82, but I feel like we have too many goal players at this point. I really need a. If I'm going to claim somebody, it really needs to be someone out of the ordinary because I already have a uh, plenty of plenty of uh, players. So uh, Ruchiska actually is interesting for me. So I'm just going to go here, do this. Ruchinska, is he playing? Hmm. Enyan. So Ruchiska, don't tell me he's uh, here. No. Yeah, he's there. Oh, they're, they're just not going to play him. Okay, they're just not going to play him. All right, then. Fine by me. Let's go, guys. So, after 60 games played, we are at 55, 14, and 1. 81 points for the team. Still the best of the league. 103 points for the best player of the league right now, which is Ari Morens. We don't have uh, a top five player. We're gonna go ahead and look uh, at our player stats. See who's closest to uh, the top five, really. We must have one of our players close, right? Who's doing really great. So let's see. Yeah, Kovalchuk is doing great like always. He's our best player. Our second line that is as well. 71 points, so he's doing all right. It's not 100 points already, but uh, it's 71 points for sure. 69 points. Nice. For Stahl. 66 for Frostburg. 61 for Dickie Moore. Steve Schott. We've got 56 points. Really great uh, year for him as a, a third liner. Really great. Okay. Yeah, most of the players are doing fine. And goaltender wise, we've got obviously uh, Letonin and... Montoya up in here. Letonen, since he came back, maybe had a rougher time. But that's okay. And I'm actually going to go ahead and... Uh, going to have to put back uh, the goaltender we had. Which is Juggerson. He's got a two-way deal, so that's fine. We can put him back here. Now the best team for the goals per game. We are the best team for the goals against... 
power play, best team for power play. Penalty kill, 10th, all the way at 10th, so definitely went up. All right, we're good. Two, four, six, eight, and 10. So all the way there, at 70 games played. See how we go, guys. Uh, I forgot to put uh, our backup in here, but it's uh, it's okay. I feel like he played a lot of games already, so we need to play as much games as possible for uh, Letanian. Make him play the last few remaining games here. Uh, just uh, to put him back into business since he got injured for a long time. Uh, let's continue. Doesn't matter for the trade deadline. I don't want these play. Nope, these players. Carry Ramo though. Nah, I'm no. I'm good. I'm good. I'm gonna keep uh, what I have right here. Okay, so keep a line and uh, kill a line and for Kubina. I'm good. I'm good. I don't need that. Nope, I'm not gonna trade defenseman for uh, a goaltender. That's good. There's a shootout, a sh a shout out right there. There, there we go. We were past the trade deadline. No more trades. Can't do trades anymore. So really good. We're doing great. We're doing great. We continue to win, uh, to win games. We might, this might be. This probably will be absolutely our best year of uh, uh, of this franchise so far. 79 overall. Jonathan Quick could be an option. Yes, we could get him. We could. Plays well. Plays well in the season. He's a good prospect as well. He's 26 years of age. You know what? Uh, yeah, sure. Let's get this guy. Let's get Jonathan Quick up in here. We got a good prospect goaltender up in here. And edit the lineups. Do this right here. And now we're going to have Jonathan Quick playing as a starter. All right. We're good. We, we got a uh, good team in front of us. 7-2-4 win. 8-2-3 win. See, we're, we're winning by a lot. We're scoring a lot of goals. It's just how it is. We got a deep team, a lot of good players. Seven, see, seven goals, eight goals, seven goals, five goals. We're scoring a lot of goals, guys. And uh, definitely, we're already clenched there. We're already in the playoffs, and we are already the the best team of the like. We're already the president's uh, trophy team for sure. So uh, we're too OP. We're too OP at this point. It's just uh, nothing can stop us. Literally nothing can stop us at this point, guys. Let's just see where we are. So, Lettonen back into business. 34 wins so far. Uh, really great saving percentage. Motoya got us a lot of uh, wins as well. 20 wins for him. Um, I feel like he didn't play a lot, uh, Lettonen. So, I'm just going to continue to play him. 2, 4, 6, 8... 10. I'm gonna play him for the rest of the season. All right, we're gonna simulate the rest of the season, guys, uh, with Litonen in the net, make him uh, build his confidence up. All right, so give him the wins he needs, because he didn't play a lot of. He lost a lot of time being injured for so long. Uh, so I want to make him uh, put him back in here. Wade Brookbank. Nope, not interested. Uh, not interested in this guy as well. So, a great year. We might have the 60 win, guys. Uh, we might have the 60 win. There's our last right there, but there's our win. One more win and we get the 60, guys. Can we do it? There's a last right there. I don't know how many games we lost. Oh, we got plenty. Yeah, there it is. We got the 60 win a season. There's a couple of losses uh, at, the, uh, at the very end there. That's not how you want to uh, finish the season because it puts you... Uh, puts your member momentum down for the playoffs, but that's okay. There we go. There's finally a win, 8-2-1. Because we got into a, a three-game losing streak right there. But that, that's okay, guys. So we ended up, at, uh, for this season, with a record of 61 wins, 20 losses, and one loss in overtime. Absolutely great. Absolutely third year in a row where we are the President's Trophy team. So even better. Let's just uh, simulate. There we go. We're going to face off against in the first round. Toronto Maple Leafs. 42 wins. We got 60 wins. We got two great goaltenders in uh, that actually play well, simulate well in both ends. We should be able to pass through these guys easily. Alright. I don't want to jinx us. But with the offense. The goaltending we have. 
it's a now a whole down other level all right we are 60 wins we're definitely a team that's winning a cup i mean come on now all right i don't care what happens here we're winning a cup let's go look at the stats for the player uh, players this year see how they went guys Oh, I'm so tired. My voice is all over the place. All right, let's see. Best score for the team, 46. We didn't get a 50 goal, a goal score, but that's because we got so many uh, big time players that they, the goal ten, the goaling, uh, the scoring is basically uh, very well merged with all the players. So 46 uh, goals uh, for Dicky Moore, 45 for Steve Schott. Steve Schott had a great year, guys, as a third liner. Best player of our team, not a hundred play, uh, player as well. So really, the more you have good players in the team, the more the the points and the sc uh, scoring, uh, the goals and all, the the more it's gonna be like all uh, merged with uh, other players. So ninety six points, still really great for uh, uh, Kovalchuk. It's not a hundred and thirty eight points. It's 96 points, guys. It's awesome. It's this guy is a stud. He's an absolute stud, I'm telling you. Uh, Eric Stahl. All right, another great year out of him for us. We got Fosberg, a great year out of him. He's 38 years of age now. He's got uh, a, a great year, so that's going to help uh, his stats for the end of his career. I don't know how for how long we have him. Pretty sure we have him until uh, four. Uh, I'm pretty sure we have him until 40 years of age. Dicky Moore had a great year. Finally, at uh, first line, he had the chance of actually getting the points. Now, he's not a girl anymore because he's 30 years of age. So, 84 points in 82 games. It's actually his best season. Is the only season, first one where he actually gets more points in games, which is good. And Steve Shot. Much better year than last year. Uh, again, not disappointing though. He was on the first line. He did not do the job. Uh, again, not kind of struggled. Struggled quite a lot uh, this year. Robinson, a great year, 73 points. Look at this. His best season of his career right now, uh, Igin Na. So that's really good. Sikora, great. Pronger, uh, he got 70, 64 points. Another great year out of him. I mean, look at these guys. They're all awesome. They all played awesome. And goaltending wise, let's look at our goaltenders. So obviously, with the most wins, Letonen, our starting goaltender, got injured for a long time. Still managed to pay, play him for 57 uh, uh, games. He got uh, 40 wins. Really great. 20 wins for Montoya. Let's look at how they played. So, wait, so... Why is Jonathan Quick? Oh, he played uh, in other teams. Okay. So we got uh, 91 saving percentage for both these uh, both these dual tenders. That's exactly what I want to see, guys. All right, let's go and take a look at the actually uh, actual league right here. See how the league went. So let's see right here. NHL best scoring uh, scorer of the league was our Moran 65 goals 58 goals for Rick Nash 57 Gagne 56 uh, Ovechkin and Joffrion 55 for Cronoyer 52 for Semen and Kessel 51 for Maurice Richard 50 for Henri Richard a lot of 50s guys and the best player of the league Ari Morenz, of course, with 133 points. I'm curious, how many points does he have? 40, 493 points in 325 games played so far from Ari Morenz. I mean, look at the stats. This is the type of, type of player you want to get in your team for sure. This guy is a stud in this game. Uh, Billy Vo, uh, Asa, Asa Kostetin, Geoffrion Gabaric, Rick Nash, um, Alexander Simon, Henri Shaw, really great for him. First uh, good season. Oh, yeah, a good, good year last year as well. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Ovechkin is playing well as well. He's having a great time. So that's good. Uh, goaltender uh, defense. 
I just want to look at defense. Best defenseman, Robinson, 73 points. Shara, 71 points with Montreal, of course. Uh, he's doing great, but Shara, for some reason, he's playing a lot of points. Uh, Pronger and all this stuff, so really good. Sean Foote, which is probably a prospect. Big time prospect. He's playing well for these, uh, for uh, Vancouver. Goaltender, let's see who the best goaltender of the league was. Uh, Marc-André Marc -André Fleury. So, 91 saving percentage. I think he's going to definitely win the uh, Vizina this year. We've got Lada, 42 wins. Uh, Cristobal Huet, for some reason. I have 41 wins. What the hell? Bet you Montreal is missing him. Well, not really, because they've got ca the goddamn Carey Price at 99 overall. <laughs> what the... Holy shit, 99 overall goaltender is probably the best goaltender of the league. Get the hell. Trevor Bell, all right. 77 overall, he puts up a 40 wins. I don't get it, guys. There we go. Let's go see really quick um, what Jacques Plant did. So Jacques Plant, 32 wins. More losses than wins, guys. 89 saving percentage. What I tell you, Jacques Plant is a bust. I'm happy I got rid of him. Just happy I got rid of him. Doing nothing for nobody. Rookie skaters, best uh, rookie of the year, Simic, with uh, a 24 years of age player, though. 70, uh, 60, 76 overall, uh, 76 points. So, really great. I'm gonna see you guys for the next video where we're gonna simulate the playoffs. Hopefully, we're gonna, in the fourth year, have a natural go, uh, have a good fourth year. Um, remember to either like and subscribe if you enjoyed this one. Keep it easy.